Good morning, everyone. Um, our Q4 was a soft quarter for us. Our revenue grew by 1.4 percent. Our um, margins were 24.8 percent for Q4. Our EPS uh, was um, 78 cents um, for the quarter. For the year, our EPS was 3.02 cents. Our guidance was 2.97 cents. Our guidance for the quarter was 4.1 um, percent, including lodestone. We have done 1.4 percent. Our um, uh, volume growth is 1.8 percent for the quarter. We had a pricing de decline of 0.7 percent, as well as a cross currency impact of 0.4 percent. So, if you negate that, I think our numbers would be actually somewhere between 2.5 to 2.8 percent. We have given a guidance for um, 6 to 10 percent for next year, which means that it is a 0.5 percent growth at the lower end and a 2 percent growth quarter on quarter at the upper end. Given where we are, we are quite confident about our guidance. Uh, as usual, our guidance is a statement of fact. We have looked at our pipeline, our, um, our visibility into next year, and taken a decision to have a wide range in the guidance between 6 to 10 percent. Uh, that is a reflection of the volatility which you have seen over the last um, few quarters. The environment remains volatile as well as mixed. Um, there are challenges in U.S. and in Europe. Our clients are struggling with taking decisions given the environment. Our ramp-ups on some of the deals which we have won has been slower than what we have ex expected in, uh, in Q4. Our client additions in Q4 has been very good. We have added 56 new clients in Q4. Our total number of million clients, million dollar clients have gone up to 448 this quarter. There is a substantial increase in, the, in, in those numbers. Our pipeline is robust. Um, our win rates have remained stable. When I look at the future, I see that from a growth perspective, the environment will be volatile and challenging. The pricing um, continues to be under pressure because of the focus on cost by our clients. Our pipeline remains robust and our win rates remain stable. Thank you. Uh, if you look at the margins, um, you know, we have done uh, reasonably well this quarter on the margins. Um, you know, we had guided for a 26% uh, operating margin for the full year, and we are ending at about 25.8% in spite of this being a soft quarter for us. If you look at for the quarter, in spite of having absorbed the wage increases that we have given at the select on-site locations and the additional loads on charge, I think we have done very well on the margin front. On the EPS side, we have exceeded the guidance that we had set out for uh, at 73 cents for the guidance for Q4. Our actual uh, EPS is about 78 cents. This is primarily because of uh, you know reversal on uh, on tax because of the R&D tax credit that we got, and also because of some forex gain. But I think without that, also we have met 73 cents uh, as a guidance. So I think the world is very volatile right now. The environment is very volatile, and uh, it, it uh, you know and also considering that you know we have had a uh, growth challenge in the in the previous couple of quarters, I think. Uh, we have set out for ourselves in terms of giving a guidance which we believe is achievable. Uh, as Shivu said, it is about 0.5% sequential growth for the next four quarters for our lower end and 2% sequential growth for the next four quarters for the upper end. Considering that uh, we need to make a lot of investments uh, as we go along and also the kind of volatility that we are seeing in the, in the, in the marketplace, we have uh, discontinued the practice of giving EPS guidance. Thank you. Thank you, Shibu. Thank you, Rajiv. We have a few questions from investor analysts. Time permitting, we will take as many of them as we can. The first question comes from Govind Agarwal of JM Financial, and Sandeep Shah from CIMB also has the same question. Shibu, what led to major miss to the fourth quarter fiscal year 13 guidance? So if you look at it, actually our yearly guidance, we are reset to at least 5% at least five percent for the year. During Q3, we have said that we have challenges. Um, the environment continues to be challenging. In Q3, we had um, volume increase as well as the pricing increase. Volume went up by 1.5%. The pricing went up by 1.8% in Q3. In Q4, it turned out to be a softer quarter than what we expected. Uh, uh, our volume went up by 1.8%. Um, 8% in Q4, at the same time, we had an impact of 0.7% because of the pricing decline, as well as an impact of 0.4% because of the cross-currency movements. And that both impacted uh, Q4. The deal ramp-ups in Q4 were softer than what we expected. While we have won a lot of large deals over the last, last half, for example, our total TCV win um, over the last uh, two quarters stands at $960 million. 
uh, including large deals as well as transformational deals, the ramp ups have been slower than what we expected. Uh, so these factors, um, slower ramp ups, then the pricing decline, um, because when the volume goes up, the pricing comes down, then the revenue doesn't go up in, in proportionate cross currency movements. All of them led to the, um, the numbers which we have for Q4. The next question is from Moshe Katri from Cowan and Company. Uh, he asks, please comment on the pipeline of deals in the various verticals as well as the conversion rates. How do both metrics compare to last year? Actually, our pipeline is robust um, at this point in time. In fact, I would say that it's marginally better than what we had last year. Our win rates are uh, stable um, or again marginally better than what we had last year. At the same time, the environment is volatile. That is what is... Um, um, you know, that is uh, causing um, volatility to, to our own um, our own numbers. Uh, the win rate has remained um, um, stable or has gone up marginally. Uh, different verticals have different characteristics. Financial services is very cost-oriented, cost pressures, but at the same time they are spending on um, compliance, on fraud detection, on um, regulatory changes. Um, retail, um, the lights on work is under pressure whereas they are spending on creating new consumer experience. Um, we are working with them on their digital strategies. Our products and platforms are seeing very good traction in retail. Manufacturing um, is all about efficiencies. Telecom continues to be under struggle because <coughs> wireline organizations are going through major restructuring as well as cost is concerned. And um, we have traction in energy and utilities.